inner child healing work. So let me know if you've had an experience of this or whether or not any of this resonates for you. But when we have inner child healing work to do, a lot of us will actually go to a therapist. And the problem of going to just a traditional or a standard therapist is the work actually begins where their work actually ends. So you'll probably have experienced something like, let's go back to the child that's presented with the wound. So you may go back to a place where you're two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And what will happen is you'll get asked about what that child needed in that moment. And based on your answer to what that child needed in that moment, then what will happen is you will spend most of the therapy session trying to get to a position whereby you're providing that wounded inner child with exactly what they needed all of those years ago. And when we have a look at that's what they needed all of those years ago, then the question becomes, why do you still need it? And why are you now providing it rather than dealing with the actual issue that is the triggers and the ongoing responses that then mean that rather than having to deal with the inner child from a place of constant exposure, but constant soothing, then you have to look at it from a place of, well, if therapy is just giving you that and therapy is just doing that, then why would you then spend the rest of your life dealing with the fact that the inner child is very much present rather than doing the healing work, which is the balance and the equilibrium of the child doesn't need to be there anymore because you now, had you stood in front of a mirror, will be able to notice the fact that you are an adult. And the way that you reconcile the inner child and the healing work to becoming an adult is actually not giving yourself what you needed and rather not needing anything moving forward. And then what happens is the work with the therapy will then stop at that point or will be maintained. And then basically what you have is a coping mechanism and a survival adaptation. And what we're looking to do is then take it the step beyond that because what we want to be doing is getting ourselves to a position whereby we're not giving that inner child what that inner child needed way back when. What we're actually doing is we're going to a place whereby we can talk ourselves through having the ability to deal with those situations. And therefore, rather than having them come at us and cause us issues, problems, and then not feeling as though we can deal with them, then we end up in a position whereby we equip ourselves to deal with it through the exposure. And then what happens is we remove that need for that protection and that survival response. And then what then goes on beyond that is the healing. Because you're then balancing, you're then coming back to equilibrium, and you're coming back to your own personal alignment. And then that's truly where the inner healing starts. But traditionally, and with most therapies, that's normally where the healing doesn't. And when we have a look at traditional therapies, that's not exactly where the healing starts. That's usually where the healing ends. As I said, let me know in the comments section below and what has your experience been like? Have you had a hybrid of the two? Have you had exactly what I've said in terms of just getting to that point and then managing and rolling on forward? Or have you actually had something that allows you to move beyond it and you've actually reconciled most of those inner demons as it were? But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.